Here is the first exhibit I've been working on for the museum that we've been creating. Here on the right, we have a California condor egg replica. They've just reintroduced the condors up into Northern California. The Yurok Nation was responsible. And then the Andean condor, I mean, just a magnificent animal. We have some of your other largest vultures. Your Cyanerus vulture, Lapid Face vulture. We get into the Lammergeier, your great bone eating vulture. Then we get into your Karakara. Very interesting birds related to falcons. On the bottom we have your Taito, barn owl. And the secretary bird, famous for typing almost, the way they hunt snakes with their long legs in deep grass. We have your African harrier, harrier the gemnogene. And then we're right on top. We have a one of your usually more northern Butio species of hawks, the gliding hawks, like your red tail, the red kite. It's a special bird. And then we're getting in on the bottom to your kites which have a beautiful way of hunting. It almost looks like a kite flying over open grass areas, generally. A serpent eagle. We gotta have eagles. Here are two of North America's most beautiful falcons. Some the Geyer Falcon is sometimes just pure white, amazing bird. The Peregrine Falcon. This bird was made famous really by Rachel Carson in Silent Spring talking about DDT spraying and really led the movement into organic farming in my belief. We have America's special bald eagle, Haliadis leucophallus. And you gotta have it's, these are actually more related than the bald eagle is to the golden eagle. And they're, they're more like fishing eagles, like sea eagles. And then the golden eagle is what you'd call a true eagle. Now, The common mur or guillemot, highly variable eggs, and this piriform shape allows the egg to stay on these cliffs where they nest. And they believe that each egg, the parents can actually remember which egg is theirs in these massive colonies. It's ridiculous. And then we gotta have the iconic Atlantic Puffin and got a, a few of your Alcids. I'm an Alcid kind of guy, so had to have those. And then in the back there, that is a wandering albatross egg replica. Now these birds have the longest wingspan. They're pretty amazing birds, just huge, flying over the ocean. Kind of stumpy on land. Very cool animals. Obviously we need a penguin egg. No matter what. So. Right here in the front we have comorant eggs. Or in the Brits like to, in other countries like to call them shags. 
they're shagadelic they the way they painted these is because they'll get knocked around on rocks and stuff and you'll get to see the different textures of the egg the glossy ibis is one of those birds that really caught my interest when I was a young lad so had to have that I saw one of the most northern um, flocks of these birds when I was very young and it really drew me into the bird watching lifestyle it's a lifestyle folks it's not just a hobby I have binoculars in my car back there we have a roseate spoonbill really interesting feeders and we have the tropic bird and the Jaeger I always love that way they call them Jaegers I don't know why it just here is my Larid display now turns and gulls are not bagels or seagulls whatever you all call them they're actually just gulls and surprising to a lot of people is that gulls and terns are closely related in evolution and I it's just the gulls have some and the terns actually have some of the best colored eggs because they represent the beaches and their places where they nest so they really have some awesome camouflage and on this bottom level is our great auk, Penguinus impennis, extinct around 1844. This bird really influenced me to be chasing cryptids all over. Now, they went extinct in 1844, but they're probably most likely extinct, unlike the ivory-billed woodpecker. And this is about 30 replicas of the known 75 eggs that exist in museums around the world and private collections today. Here is a life-size painting of the Great Auk that I threw together for the museum. But anyways, just cool variation. Similar situation to your Guillemot or myrrh egg but just gorgeous amazing eggs have a great day